one of Warren Buffett's favorite investments of all time, Coca-Cola has paid out over $9 billion in dividend income to Warren Buffett in total. Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway owns 400 million shares of Coca-Cola, which is projected to generate $672 million in annual dividend income. That comes out to roughly $1.8 million in dividend income per day, $76,000 in dividend income per hour, and $1,278 in dividend income for Berkshire Hathaway every single minute. Buffett has always been pretty public with his thoughts on Coca-Cola stock. Those are the kind of businesses I like. I like, I like wonderful brands. You gotta take care of them. And, uh, but if you take care of a, of a great brand, you know, it's forever. And, and uh, that, those are the businesses I like. We own 400 million shares of Coca-Cola stock, as you know, we've never sold a share and I wouldn't think of selling a share. As a value dividend investor, anytime the greatest investor of all time speaks so highly of a company, it's worth taking the time to take a deep dive into the intrinsic value of Coca-Cola. In order to find Coca-Cola's intrinsic value, we're gonna jump into my stock valuation spreadsheet. If you'd like to be able to download this valuation model, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. Okay, so we are currently looking at my stock valuation spreadsheet in Google Sheets. And on this spreadsheet, we have four different valuation models. We have Graham's valuation, a discounted cash flow analysis, a multiples valuation, and a dividend discount model, which will all roll into our output tab so that we can find the intrinsic value of Coca-Cola stock. So let's go ahead and start with Graham's valuation. And we can see here, Graham's valuation was invented by Benjamin Graham. He was one of Warren Buffett's mentors. And we can see exactly what his formula was right here to calculate the intrinsic value of stocks. So we can see in order to do this, the first thing we need is our earnings per share. So I have that listed for Coca-Cola right here. We then take seven, which is the price to earnings of a company with no growth. And we're gonna multiply, or excuse me, we're gonna add that to the projected growth rate for Coca-Cola, which is currently 10 for most analysts. We are then gonna take the average yield of AAA corporate bonds, which is 4.4. So we then multiply all these together, and then we have to divide it by Y, which is the current yield of AAA corporate bonds, which is currently 3.3. So we can see based off of Graham's valuation, we come to an intrinsic value for Coca-Cola of $51.23 per share. So let's go ahead and jump over to our discounted cash flow analysis. And in order to perform a discounted cash flow analysis, we need to find the growth rate for the future free cash flows for Coca-Cola. So in order to do this, I looked at the historical free cash flows for Coca-Cola and found that they had an average growth rate of about 10%. So I decided to use a growth rate of 10% for this scenario. Based off of this, I then projected forward the future free cash flows and calculated the terminal value, which is a combination of all the future free cash flows past the year 2030. I then found the present value of these future free cash flows and added them all together, which you can see right here. The next step was to add all of Coca-Cola's cash and cash equivalents, and then I subtracted their total debt, and this allowed me to find the equity value of Coca-Cola. The final step was to take the shares outstanding and then take the equity value and divide it by the number of shares outstanding. So we can see based off of our discounted cash flow analysis, Coca-Cola had an intrinsic value of $54 per share. So let's go ahead and jump over to our multiples valuation model now. And for the multiples valuation model, there were only a couple of companies that I felt comfortable comparing to Coca-Cola. But essentially, in order to perform a multiples valuation, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take companies that are similar to Coca-Cola, which you can see in this scenario was Pepsi and Monster Beverage Corporation. We then take their earnings per share, and we're gonna take the stock price and divide it by the earnings per share to find the price to earnings multiple. We then take the average price to earnings multiple, which in this scenario was 28, and we then multiply it by Coca-Cola's earnings per share, which leads us to a stock price of $63.62, which should be the intrinsic value based off of our multiples valuation model. So let's go ahead and jump over to what everyone wants to see for this valuation of Coca-Cola, which is the dividend discount model. And this is a very popular way to value dividend stocks. So for Coca-Cola, this is obviously a very important valuation model. So essentially the idea behind the dividend discount model is that we can find the intrinsic value of a stock based on how fast they grow their dividends and how much they're paying out in dividends. So essentially what I did is I took the historical dividend data for Coca-Cola and I then found what their yearly dividend payout was. This allowed me to see what the growth rate was year over year and their average growth rate over the past few years was about 3.23%. So I projected a growth rate for their dividends of 3.3%. 
After applying a discount rate of 8%, we can see that based off of our dividend discount model, their intrinsic value was $36.92 per share. So let's go ahead and jump over to our output tab. And here on our output tab, you can see exactly what our valuation models projected. For Graham's valuation, $51, multiples valuation, 63, discounted cash flow, 54, dividend discount model, $36.92. I then take the average of all of these valuations, which we can see was about $51.46. And so when we look at the current price of Coca-Cola, it's currently trading at a price of about $58 per share. That's a difference of about 14% between the two. And so it really doesn't matter what our margin of safety is in this scenario because we can clearly see our current price is higher than the intrinsic value. But let's go ahead and say we wanted to apply a 10% margin of safety. We can see that based off of our valuation, our acceptable buy price would be about $46.31. Now, full disclaimer, I do own a fair amount of Coca-Cola stock, but I wouldn't want to buy in at its current price. I'm up about $500 in my own personal portfolio, which you can see in my monthly updates, but I was able to buy into Coca-Cola at a much better price than it's currently priced at. And if we jump back over to our stock screener, one other thing to take note of Coca-Cola is starting to get a pretty high payout ratio. I do love the dividend yield. It's a pretty solid yield at 2.86%, and they have been very consistent with increasing their dividend payouts, but it is worth noting that that payout ratio is getting a little bit high. So really, again, I do love Coca-Cola stock, but at this price, I don't know if it's the best option for dividend investors. Let me know your thoughts on Coca-Cola stock in the comments below. I know for me personally, if it does dip back down into this acceptable buy price of about $46, I will likely be adding more to my portfolio. If you'd like to be able to download my stock valuation spreadsheet, then you can head over to my Patreon page at the link in the description. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel.